Brad Allman, and welcome to Jersey Cape Fishing, South Jersey's longest running fishing show. It's June 14th, 2016. Um, if you've been fishing these waters anywhere in Jersey this year, you know the wind has been a major problem. Uh, it's definitely the windiest winter, spring, and we're getting towards summer now that I've ever seen. Um, it's just been beating on us for right now. It's uh, about five days straight it's been windy back in here and that really affects the back bay fishing. Uh, you have a lot of exposed mud bars at low tide and the wind's just pushing the water over top of it, stirring it all up. It's murky, it's dirty on the surface and we're just seeing the light sediment up there. The heavier stuff is down at the bottom. So the flounder are laying on the bottom, they're in the thick stuff down there so it's been hard to, for people to catch fish simply for the fact that if you're drifting, the wind is pushing you too fast, you're dragging your baits through too fast, and the water's murky down there, and the fish may not even see your bait. So, we had a boat go out this morning, three locals. Uh, before all the wind came up, they had a couple good days, but today they were out for about seven hours, and they had uh, two shorts and a couple sand sharks. That was it. Uh, another boat from our dock was out, and they were out for four hours in the morning and they had one short. So what we're doing, you may be able to see it behind me, we have the float rigs. Uh, we're gonna go up an area of water I like to fish. It's narrow, it's called uh, Turtle Creek. We're gonna anchor up there. I have a couple of cans of uh, cat food for chum. We're gonna anchor up. We have live minnows, frozen shiners or spearing, gulp and some uh, mackerel fillets. So we're gonna set up with the float rig, let it do its magic out there, and hopefully we're gonna catch a few fish, maybe a keeper, and show you just how effective that this float rig can be. Windy days, murky water. It's just a killing rig back here. I mean, it's never failed me. So we're gonna go up here and give it a shot, and we'll see you in a few minutes, hopefully with a fish on. You're watching Jersey Cape Fishing with Fred Ullman, brought to you by Pier 47 on Route 47, and the Jay Bird Agency with convenient locations in South Jersey. See what's new at Pier 47 Marina on Route 47 entering Wildwood. All the newest boat lines, Nautic Star, Carolina Skiff, Yamaha, and now World Cat, plus a large selection of pre-owned boats and personal watercraft. Boat rentals of skiffs and pontoons. Huge indoor rack storage is available all year long plus a fully stocked parts department and factory trained technicians. Visit the expansive showroom and Homeport Ship Store with over 5,000 square feet of boating supplies and accessories. Pier 47 on Route 47, making the water more fun. Don't get caught up the creek without a paddle. Get Towboat U.S. Unlimited Towing. Towboats U.S. services Sea Isle to Cape May, the Delaware Bay to Cohansee River. 24-7, 365 days a year, Boats U.S. is your rapid response towing service. Call 884-4445. That number again is 884-4445. No vacation to the Jersey Shore is complete without a fishing or crabbing trip or even a little boat ride. At No Bones Bait and Tackle we have it all, including 17-foot Carolina skiffs with canopies for a little shade and safety for the entire family. Our full line of live and frozen baits combined with over 50 years of local knowledge will ensure your outing is both fun and successful. Stop by No Bones Bait and Tackle on Rio Grande Avenue in Wildwood for all your on-water needs. Call 609-522-3017 for more information. If you're looking to buy, sell, or rent property in the Philadelphia area, be sure to call Mike Kershaw at 215-483-5717. Whenever you're in the Wildwoods, visit your friends at Callaway Realty on Pacific Avenue. For summer rentals and home purchasing, contact Callaway Realty at 609-522-7777. On this week's show, Fred is joined by local fishing buddy Frank Walsh, who will be trying flounder fishing with the float rig for the first time. Using a depth finder here, just trying to tuck it in close up against the side bank and 
Okay, drop it in, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Here the tide is coming in, the wind's kind of pushing on a little angle this way. So if it sets up right, we should be in a real good area here. Using a dead shiner on that float just shot down. And fish on. See if we were up here drifting. That wind would have had us over there on the other side of this creek in no time at all. This way I'm letting the float do all the work, all the drifting. Oh, nice, nice head shake. This should be a nice one. Here, pass me the net over here, Frank. I'll get it. Oh, now it's your line. Oh, you got a nice one. Yep. Nice fish. That's how effective the float rig can be back here. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> that line was out there maybe 45 seconds. It's a killer back here. You keep that bait a little bit off the bottom. They're always looking up. Their eyes are on top of their head. They're always looking up. They see that shiner on there, minnow, anything you put on there. They can't resist it. They just shoot up off the bottom and grab it and go back down. Let's see. We got hit 21 inch. Nice fish. That's why I caught that flounder on. It's a, a shiner I caught at the dock actually this morning in our drop net. Uh, they don't live long when you, once you catch them, so I kept them in the freezer just to keep them real fresh. And I'm using the 4-0 gold hook here. I got a little pearl bead on here, just or a silver bead on here, just to maybe it'll catch a glimpse of sunlight, but that's that's all I'm using. You don't have to hide the hook. The fish does not know what a hook is. The sliding float, I set the stop where I want the depth and let this do the drifting for you. You can see right at the tip of the rod, I got the little rubber stops. They slide on your line. This is braid. It works on braid or mono and they just keep sliding through the float when they hit the top, it stops. I have that set at about 14 feet and we're at about 15 and a half feet. I'm not wasting time running around, not wasting fuel, not drifting too fast because this is just going the same speed as the current. The wind's really not affecting it. So technically you're drifting. The boat isn't moving, but you're drifting for the for the flounder. Got a little can of nine lives cat food. Uh, a lot of times when the fish are not feeding heavily, they're laying on the bottom. They're not moving around because their food source isn't moving around. So everything's hiding down there. Everything wants to stay alive. So if you put a scent in the water, get some oil out there, little morsels of food, you will get the grass shrimp, the shiners, the little crabs, things like that moving around. Once you get them moving around, then the flounder will move around after them. And you see all the little pieces and that scent is going to get out there and get things going. Frank got his with a live minnow. And it was good that after he Put the one fish in the bucket, he left the net all the way up in the bow. Any day now, just take your time. Rod tip up. Another flatty on the flute. That's two fish back to back right here. 16. 16. This one's a small one too. Dirty belly. Little bugger. 
Still the neatest fish around here. They are so cool looking. It is down. Big minnow, little flounder. Look at the size of that. And if he had gotten that in, that would have kept him fed for about three days. Right now we're on dead high tide. And the boat keeps swinging. It makes it look like uh, the float's moving, but it's really not. It's just sitting there dead. We, we caught the last say hour 15 minutes of the incoming tide now we're just waiting for the tide to start out and we'll make a decision whether we're going to stay here or try another location when the tide's not moving the fish aren't biting that's that's a law out here we're going to make a a move now that the tide's going out my recommendation was to stay here, it's a proven spot, but Frank said no, he wants to move. So, it's all on Frank. When it comes to insurance, you want choices and a name you can trust. J. Byrne Insurance offers a variety of insurance, representing multiple companies for the best bid and cost for you. Easy, fast quotes in minutes with no obligation. I went to jburnagency.com and in minutes I had my auto insurance quotes. It was fast, easy, and I saved a bunch of money. The J. Byrne team has you covered. For a quick quote, visit jburnagency.com. Have a need for speed? Stop by Motion Wave Runners for a half hour or full hour of fun and excitement. Our three square mile riding area is the largest in Wildwood. Call 609-522-3159 for reservations. Now available on DVD, Jersey Cape Fishing Volumes 1 through 4. Now you can observe Fred Ullman as he travels the Back Bay waters and the Delaware Bay, showing you how to catch your favorite fish at the Jersey Cape. Call 609-522-3017 today and order your DVDs. Each DVD contains four episodes of Jersey Cape Fishing for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Use these Jersey Cape Fishing DVDs as your reference guides. Call 609-522-3017 and order any one or all four DVDs today. Now the area I picked here, we have the outgoing tide. And you have a mud bar over there and a mud bar over here and you just have this one channel going right down the middle. So eventually all the fish that are on that side and this side are going to have to come into the channel. That's why the osprey's flying around here. If the fish are in those shallows, you'll be able to pick them off. So if you have an area like that, wide body of water, and then it has uh, mud flats on either side, get along the edge of the channel and just let the float rig go right down. Now here the wind is with the tide. So if we were drifting, we'd be flying down there so fast. And it just vanished. Get the line tight. And set the hook. The float was almost out of sight when it went down. That's uh, the nice thing about this. You get a clear day like this. Frank, you better reel yours. It's coming, my fish is coming over there. You can always tell a small fish when they come skipping across the surface. Let's see, is that five to one there, Frank? Ah. But who's counting? I am. Look at that camouflage. Look at those eyes. I 
think there's my minnow. This will put the pressure on. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, fish on. I just threw some more chum over and Flounder just got all over this. He's he another small one. But again, we're we're just sitting here relaxing, making fun of Frank. What else is new? <laughs> another little one. Thank God I made the decision to come here. It would have been a boring show. Yeah. <laughs> Is a fish. I had, uh, I got about 250 yards of 10 pound mono on this rod, and I was all the way down to the spool when the float went down. No head shaking, nothing, just it's like he doesn't have a care in the world down there. Until he gets closer to the boat, then I'll wake up. Yeah, he's still down there like 17 feet. This is a nice fish. Yeah, oh, he's a nice one. Nice. Let's just lead him real easy. Get the net in. There you go. The beauty of the float rig. It is just so nice to be out here messing with this thing. Who picked this spot? <laughs> well, I was asking for another keeper. Twenty-three and a half. Let me get the scale out. Hopefully that'll hold him. He's five pounds, six ounces. I'm gonna drop in the cooler. It's a keeper, isn't it? I think so. Look at that. Look at how he lit up on, the, on that side, all the white dots. Makes mine look small. You're watching Jersey Cape Fishing with Fred Ullman, brought to you by No Bones Bait and Tackle in Wildwood at the foot of the George Redding Bridge, and Towboat U.S. No vacation to the Jersey Shore is complete without a fishing or crabbing trip or even a little boat ride. At No Bones Bait and Tackle we have it all, including 17-foot Carolina skiffs with canopies for a little shade and safety for the entire family. Our full line of live and frozen baits combined with over 50 years of local knowledge will ensure your outing is both fun and successful. Stop by No Bones Bait and Tackle on Rio Grande Avenue in Wildwood for all your on-water needs. Call 609-522-3017 for more information. See what's new at Pier 47 Marina on Route 47 entering Wildwood. All the newest boat lines, Nautic Star, Carolina Skiff, Yamaha, and now World Cat plus a large selection of pre-owned boats and personal watercraft, boat rentals of skiffs and pontoons. Huge indoor rack storage is available all year long, plus a fully stocked parts department and factory trained technicians. 
visit the expansive showroom and Holport Ship Store with over 5,000 square feet of boating supplies and accessories. Pier 47 on Route 47, making the water more fun. If you're looking to buy, sell, or rent property in the Philadelphia area, be sure to call Mike Kershaw at 215-483-5717. Whenever you're in the Wildwoods, visit your friends at Callaway Realty on Pacific Avenue. For summer rentals and home purchasing, contact Callaway Realty at 609-522-7777. Don't get caught up the creek without a paddle. Get Towboat U.S. Unlimited Towing. Towboats U.S. services Sea Isle to Cape May, the Delaware Bay to Cohansee River. 24-7, 365 days a year, Boats U.S. is your rapid response towing service. Call 884-4445. That number again is 884-4445. Now available on DVD, Jersey Cape Fishing Volumes 1 through 4. Now you can observe Fred Ullman as he travels the Back Bay waters and the Delaware Bay, showing you how to catch your favorite fish at the Jersey Cape. Call 609-522-3017 today and order your DVDs. Each DVD contains four episodes of Jersey Cape Fishing for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Use these Jersey Cape Fishing DVDs as your reference guides. Call 609-522-3017 and order any one or all four DVDs today. The last of the incoming, first of the outgoing, the water is always the cleanest. The current's nice and slow. The sediments had a chance to settle. The heavy, heavy clumps of seaweed have settled back down to the bottom. And we can, we can see just from sitting here how much cleaner the water is from when we first got here. Yeah, fish on. Huh? Yeah, Frank. This guy's head's getting bigger as I watch it. <laughs> and it started out big enough. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll catch one. <laughs> Someday. Hey, Frank. Yeah. Here, you want to see what one looks like? Huh? Look at that, all flat and brown. And short. And short. I think I need a blue-white minnow. I need a minnow, too. Pretty fish. Can we get you a minnow? Yeah, would you? Now, when you said supporting cast, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> want to pick out your Goliath there? Yeah, I really don't want you touching my <laughs> bait. I'm having bad luck today. God, he's going to be unbearable. Now, don't you worry about what the other kids say. <laughs> Totally spooled on that. It was all the way down. Every inch of line was off the reel. And nature threw me a final gift. <laughs> it's not, not the most fun in the world pulling one in from way back there, but hey, it's a fish. Pretty soon, Frank's going to get to see what one looks like. Yeah, I'm sure glad I picked this spot, <laughs> as opposed to the captain. <laughs> Belly up. Just taking it easy. And if you notice, he's hooked right in the corner. And every fish we've caught has been hooked right in the corner of the mouth. For some reason, when I'm using a float rig, I just never seem to get the uh, severely hooked fish down in the stomach. So that's another thing I like about the float rig. It just doesn't, you know, a lot of times when you're fishing, you catch this size fish and they've gulped it down. But every one that was brought in was hooked right in the corner of the mouth. 
or in the lower jaw. So we left the dock about 3.30 and it's now 7.30. We fished two spots, the last city incoming, first city outgoing. Uh, I think we have about 10 flounder. The guys that were out this morning, they were complaining there was a lot of weeds. When you use the float rig, you just don't have a weed problem. It, it keeps it away from the bottom where the weeds are. And we, we burnt only the gas to get out here and to turn around and go back. Um, easy day of fishing, fun fishing with Frank. Um, I think he's still crunching his numbers to see how many he caught. <laughs> But it was just a beautiful evening out here. Had a lot of fun. Got a couple of nice keepers. Quite a few throwbacks. And never varied from the, the float rig. Float rig works great. It's, uh, you know, it's a perfect, we had really windy conditions early that made it perfect for what we wanted to do. If we had been drifting, we'd been out of the channel, constantly fighting to keep from going to ground. So you anchored up, your float rig went right down the main chute, and uh, it gave you a shot at some fish that you wouldn't have had. So um, I'm strong and uh, hopefully I'll get better at it. I had somebody teach me today pretty well, so. Loser pulls the anchor in, right? Yeah, that was we were wireless. Why do I have to wear a life jacket? We wear it to be safe. I've got mine on. We're teaching our kids about safe boating. Cogí un pescado así de grande. <laughs> we all love this life. Wear it and love the life. This message brought to you by the National Safe Boating Council. <laughs>